Guys, it is uh, about quarter to ten, and it is 41. It's a beautiful morning. Um, feels like 34, which is they call it real feel. I think it means wind chill. And we're waiting for my sister to come out so we can go to the hospital. It's kind of bright. It's not real gray, but the sun's not out either, so we'll just see what's up. And that's it for the moment. I was asleep by 5 today, so when my alarm came went off at 8, <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope I sleep tonight, because this is the third day, and no naps or anything, so I'm starting to wind down, but I am popping lots of vitamin C, so we'll see how it goes, and I'll see you later, bye. Hi guys, we are coming out of the town of St. Louis, Michigan. And we are going back to the nursing home. My sister is there with my mom. So my mom is kind of upset. She's looking for her her friend, Bo. She and Bo have been involved for a number of years. And um, she's really asking for him. She's very disoriented. We're on the road back to it. And I will show it to you from the outside. But I probably won't record inside at all. I'm not even in her room. It's all just new. And she's... She's having a rough time with it. So. See, it's that way back. It's nice. You know, it's nice. Lots of nice trees and seclusion and whatever. There it is. But it's a much older building. And, um. Uh, the halls are narrow and the walls are cement block painted and the ceilings are low and so she, you know, it's a much, much different place. But anyways, they have nice, good, nice uh, decorations for Christmas. So this is it and I will see you guys later. Bye. Guys, it's about 10 to 7. I don't remember if the meeting starts at 7 or 7.30, but either way, we're here. We're ready to go in. Pete's got the generator running, and the dogs have peed and pooped, and uh, we're parked in a parking lot, <laughs> way at the back, so we're not in anybody's way, and my car's right next door here, and we're ready for the Christmas shindig uh, party at for the Metal Detecting Club. There's a, there's the food line, which I'm not going to go through because my stomach's kind of not good. Where'd Pete go? He's somewhere. Oh, he's way over there. Way over there. I'm going back to the motorhome anyway. But I was here, you can tell. There I was. So, I'm going back. Whoops, excuse me. All the way to the back parking lot, in the dark, by myself. Beautiful tree they have here. That's very pretty. But I got the key to get in, as I'm always taught. I'm out by myself in the dark. Um, I think it's after, just quarter after nine maybe-ish. Uh, Pete's still at the party in the meeting slash party and uh, I came back after just an hour I guess I showed you and I've just been sitting here kind of my stomach just doesn't feel great that's all I didn't I got everybody else fed but of course I didn't want to eat so I'm sipping at some tea and I guess I'll finish this up after this, we're supposed to go to Matawan to the transmission place. And they were hopefully going to leave the electric, electric line or whatever out for us so we can plug in when we get there. Well, um, Pete wrote to him, texted him this afternoon to remind him, but he didn't get an answer. But hopefully it'll be there. If not, then I guess we run the generator. That would be my guess because we got to have heat. We'll talk about my mom 
another day. It's, these are just too long for me to add all that. There's a lot going on there. My sister and Pete and I all spent quite a bit of time with her today, about half the day, and we took her, you know, all the clothes I bought her last night. We got them all labeled and put away, and then Pete and I went out and I got her things like nail file, tweezers, deodorant, um, puzzle books, you can't do them, but she writes in them with her pencil anyway, and she likes to carry them around. So I got her those, got her some pencils and pens, and a pla just a nice plastic, like a little party tray for on top of her dresser for all her stuff. Um, nail file, I don't remember what all, but um, just so that she'd have all her stuff right there. There's a meeting at 11 o'clock. Um, they have a 72-hour meeting with the families after the first 72 hours to discuss how think how she's settling in, what she might need. And I'll leave very early Thursday morning to Lansing, and uh, Gwen and I will drive there together because originally she was just going to go because I'd be far away, but I really want to keep checking. I don't out. know what after that. I mean, we don't know. It depends on what happens in Matawan. The Pete only had to restart us in motion, or us, him, you know, the motorhome, in motion four times on the way here from Lansing, which was about a two-hour drive, so. Um. Hey, you there? Okay, guys, we're going through Pinewell, and I shouldn't be doing this while I'm driving at night at... 10 15 at night but their lights are so beautiful in this town so I just wanted to show you their lights in their little town square here's their businesses and they got wreaths and lights everywhere look at that big huge beautiful tree and then we're gonna be going over the river and there's a park here on the left I'll just let you guys see it. There are lights everywhere back there. They got tons on the other side too. Okay, that's not a very good that's not a very good um, you know pictures, but it's better than nothing. So we're on our way to Matawan and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.